Hi Barlies, Marvin here from TechBeerall.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy beerals. In today, Intel Z490 motherboards are finally here. And in this video, we're going to take a first look at the ASUS Tough Z490 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. It features significant improvements from the previous Z390 chipset with better construction, power delivery, higher memory overclocking support, latest Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.1. We'll take a quick tour around this new motherboard and see if it suits your needs. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright guys, so right here I have the packaging for the ASUS Tough Gaming Z490 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. So we have some features here on the lower left side. And what's important here is that of course, it will support the latest 10th gen Intel processors via the new LGA1200 socket and features the latest offerings of the Z490 chipset like integrated USB 3.2 Gen 2 support, latest Intel Wi-Fi 6, and up to 10 processor cores alongside some security upgrades and improved performance, at least in theory since we don't have the numbers yet. But judging by the improved memory overclocking, latest processor support, and other improvements, we should be expecting more performance compared to the previous generation Z390. Okay, so at the back of the box, we have here all the key features and specifications of the ASUS Tough Z490 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard. And I actually appreciate this detail because you can do a quick glance of what your motherboard is capable of without having to dig inside the user manual, which is also equally important by the way. So let me just unbox this first and I'll tell you about all the specifications as I provide you with a quick tour around the motherboard. So let's see what comes in the package. Alright guys, so inside the box, the first thing you'll notice is the motherboard itself and this flap right here which apparently holds something inside which is the Wi-Fi antenna. It does look pretty similar with other ASUS motherboards as I also have something like this with my ASUS ROG 6 X470i gaming motherboard. Next, we have the motherboard itself. Let me just grab it out for a second and place it on the side as we take a look at all the other package contents here. So underneath this cardboard, we have a couple of SATA connectors, an IO shield with this soft cushion that I really appreciate protecting the ports and connectors of the motherboard as I pointed out on my mini ITX build which by the way, you can check out here. We also have a fan holder here, some standoffs and screws I think for the M.2 slots, and thin pad that you can use for single-sided M.2 SSDs. I also appreciate that the plastic has a description of what the contents is for, and that's attention to small details guys. Of course, we have a quite hefty user guide right here, and it looks like it also has some illustrations which are pretty nice and user-friendly. This is actually very helpful especially when it comes to headers and details about compatibility, PCIe lanes, and stuff like that. Aside from that, we also have here a certification of reliability, and for those of you who are not yet familiar with the tough branding, it is a collaborative effort between different brands to provide consumers with a lineup of durable PC components and peripherals. We also have here some tough gaming stickers and of course, a compact disc because reasons. And that's about it when it comes to the package contents of the ASUS Tough Gaming Z490 Plus Wi-Fi and the difference of this compared to the non-Wi-Fi version is pretty much just the Wi-Fi and the integrated Bluetooth feature. Alright, so here's the ASUS Tough Gaming Z490 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard itself with all its stealthy black, gray, and patented yellow tough accents. So we have a massive heatsink here for the MOSFETs, and in terms of power delivery, it has a 12 plus 2 power stages with DR MOS, which combines the high side and low side MOSFETs and drivers into a single package, so in theory, it should be more efficient. Adding to that, the PCB now has 6 layers that have been improved from 4 on the previous Z390+. Plus. In terms of cooling solution, like I said, we have a massive heatsink on both the west side MOSFETs and the north side MOSFETs. And we also have a heatsink for one of the M.2 slots and of course on the PCH or Platform Controller Hub, also known as Chipset. Now, powering this motherboard, we have an 8 plus 4 pin Pro Cool socket for the CPU. And looking closer, it definitely has some solid pins as you can see here. In terms of memory compatibility, this motherboard supports up to 4600 MHz frequency with 4 DIMM slots for a maximum capacity of 128GB. And with a plus 2 power phase, memory overclocking with this motherboard should be pretty decent. Now, in terms of processor support, like I said, it features the LGA1200 socket and will support Intel's latest 10 gen processor. And now when it comes to connectivity, with this particular Wi-Fi version that we have right here, it features Intel Wi-Fi 6 via the AX201 module and is compatible with the 802.11ax standard which can provide up to 2.4GB per second speed and as usual, it also has an integrated Bluetooth 5.1 which has been improved from the previous 5.0 of the Z390. Aside from that, of course, we also have a wired connection via the Intel 1219V Gigabit Ethernet port. And lastly, for connectivity, we also have support for Thunderbolt 3. Alright guys, so with all the key features and components checked out, 
Let's discuss all the other IOs and headers of this motherboard. For the back panel IO, we have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and one of those is a USB Type-C port. We also have four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, one Display Port 1.4, one HDMI Port 1.4B, an Intel Gigabit Ethernet, the Wi-Fi 6AX201 module, one optical SPDIF port, standard audio ports, and interestingly enough, we also have a PS2 port. As for the USB headers, we have one USB 3.2 Gen 2 front panel connector that supports USB Type-C. We also have one USB 3.2 Gen 1 header and two USB 2.0 headers. In terms of audio, we have the Realtek S1200A HD audio codec which features DTS custom for gaming headsets. We also have audio shielding, dedicated PCB layers, and other features that should provide cleaner audio by just using the built-in components of this motherboard. Now for storage, this motherboard has two M.2 slots that supports a variety of different form factor, and it also has 6 SATA 6GB per second ports. In terms of expansion slots, we have two PCIe 3.0 x16 and three PCIe 3.0 x1 slots. Now when it comes to cooling with fan headers, we have one CPU fan header, one CPU opt fan header, one AIO pump header, and three chassis fan headers. In terms of RGB headers, we have one 5V addressable Gen 2 RGB header, which is now capable of detecting the number of LEDs on ARGB Gen 2 compatible devices. And of course, we also have two standard 12V RGB headers, and we also have some surface mounted LEDs on the back of the motherboard for some accent lighting. And lastly, for power ports, again, we have the 8 plus 4 power connector for the CPU and the standard 24 pin connector for the main power. And that's pretty much it, guys, when it comes to all the key features and specifications of the Asus Stuff Gaming Z490 Plus Wi Fi motherboard. And overall, judging by our closer look on the components, the quality seems to be pretty decent, especially for the capacitors, chokes, and the overall heatsink for the entirety of the components of the VRMs. And I also appreciate the improved layer of the PCB from 4 to 6 and the 12 plus 2 power faces and the reinforced PCIe slot. Though I'm not sure about the shroud of the chipset as it is made of plastic and I don't know how much heatsink we have underneath it. As for the fan headers, we have a substantial amount for our coolers and case fans. But for RGB headers, I feel like we could have gotten more, maybe one more addressable RGB, especially for an ATX form factor. And at the end of the day, if the price is right, I think the ASUS Stuff Gaming Z490 Plus Wi-Fi could be a decent option especially if you like ASUS motherboards but doesn't have a budget yet for their higher-end ROG lineup. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link below. Thanks to ASUS for sending this in, you can get this motherboard once available of course, either from their official store in Lazada or from their partner stores. I'm planning on doing more unboxing of other Z490 motherboards and I hope those plans can push through especially during this extended community quarantine, so we'll see. Again, thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys.